And you know, the reason we uh, we originally got the spa was that uh, we hired a hi houseboat once on, uh, um, where was that? What? Where did we hire the houseboat? Manham. Manham. Yeah, that was it. And, um, and it had a spa on the roof. You know, we obviously didn't get the chemicals right because we both had skin rashes the next day. But um, yeah, apart from that, it was really nice. It was really hot as well. Gary and Leanne live in the western suburbs of Adelaide and have done so for the last four and a half years. Leanne's a beautician by trade but was recently dismissed following allegations of stealing from the till, something she denies to this day. Gary works in a small advertising agency in the city where he's jack of all trades but one day hopes to get enough money to buy a lawn mowing franchise. And with his recent back injury he claims happened to work, he could be in line for a compo payment to fund that dream. Leanne's son Tyson is a bit of a handful and is disciplined regularly at school. The counsellor says he probably needs more direction from a responsible male adult, but unfortunately it's not forthcoming. The remaining member of the family is Thomas, the raging cat who is suffering some serious intestinal problems and is no longer allowed in the house. Yeah, no, Thomas is 18 and a half and um, he's actually got inflammatory bowel disease, which means he um, poos a lot and, and vomits a lot and, and farts too. Um, in fact, before I was talking to him in the kitchen, what's no Thomas there, Chef I said something and he sneezed and he went <laughs> at the same time. So, <laughs> but yeah, do you want to hold him? No. You're holding two tiny farts. <laughs> Poor Thomas. He smells. No, he does too. Poo. I know. Actually, yeah, <laughs> just put him down now. <laughs> Off you go. There you go. <laughs> Did he just fart? Tyson's favourite game is shocking trivia. It's a version of Trivial Pursuit, but if you get the answer wrong, you received a hefty electric shock through the handle that each player has. The questions are generally pretty easy, but for the game to work properly, the quiz master needs to put in the correct answer into the machine. Tyson has formed the habit of deliberately entering the wrong answer to easy questions so that everyone except him gets a boot. It's not legal to sell shocking trivia in Australia. It's banned because it can bring on heart attacks oh, in some people. Shopping trivia. Leanne bought this unit for Tyson over the internet from China as a Christmas present last year. But he was suspended for a week for taking it to school and playing with kids during recess. Which Australian state is an island? A. Queensland, B. Perth, C. Sydney, D. Tasmania. One's a dog. Easy. Yeah, but Sydney's not a state. <laughs> Of course I have. This one's easy. <laughs> 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 you little. We both did. We both did. Ow! Ow! <laughs> 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 little shit. That was right. <laughs> Gary and Leanne enjoy entertaining and eating out, but have been barred from several restaurants for lewd behaviour in front of other guests. The most recent episode was at a Mongolian restaurant where they were asked to leave after offending other diners. Following incidents like these, they've decided to entertain more at home and have bought a second-hand spa from a neighbour who was moving back to Perth after a failed relationship. Gary picked up the spa this morning and is filling it in preparation for its first use tonight with Leanne, their friend Pete and his new girlfriend. Um, yeah, so we, we, uh, we scored this off of Leah up the road and she's moving to Perth and uh, I don't know when she's going but she's going pretty soon and I think we got a bargain we got it for like three grand and you know they're about nine new so it's perfect and uh, so we're filling it up and we'll see how we go because uh, tonight's the first use so we'll uh, we'll christen it tonight as soon as I knew we were getting this far I was really excited so I went down to that place on Court Road, you know, it's second hand, but you never know. And uh, I got this covered because I thought this is great because the last thing you want to do when you're in this bar is have to get out. On this shelf, we've got the towels and of course the guest robe because you know you need that. And down the bottom, we've got all the chlorine and things. And of course, here's Gary's lube it's the bonus pack, which um, we need, you know, <laughs> it's one of those things. And then we've got the spray and wipe for after. It's fabulous. Yeah. What are you doing? Putting the chemicals in. What are you doing? Chemicals. What? What for? Chemicals. Why? 
Ooh, apparently it's just put chemicals in it. Later that afternoon, Gary and Leanne take a few moments to relax before booting up the spa for the first time. They're enjoying another glass of red and listening to their favourite talkback station 5AA, while Tyson amuses himself with a soccer ball. The trouble is the sound of the ball hitting the fence is driving Gary mad. <laughs> hey look, I need to shake my knuckles now. Oh, Tyson, stop kicking that ball, you little. Thanks. After their wine and cheese, Gary boots up the spa for the very first time, but he's discovered it's dead and has no idea why it's not working. He's checking all the connections and trying to restore power, but the guests are due soon and are showing absolutely no signs of life. Finally, Gary restores power to the spa, but he's now found another problem. Um, yeah, the, the spa's broken, so I need to fix it. think it went on very well. Ah, that's why. Oh, that's really bad. It's broken. That's why it's letting water out. It's not the filter after all. It's, it's not the filter after all. What is it? It's the thing's broken. The plastic thing. Mom. Because you know you get acid. Actually, no, I haven't. Can I get a lemonade? Do you know him? Huh? I didn't Is have one. Is that Lake Store's kid? Well, something fell out seven years ago. It could be mine. 